is up guys and Matt from Schoolboss and today we're doing a video on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So this has just been dropped, all the info has just been dropped, the trailer has been dropped and this is what we know so far. One of the biggest surprises behind Call of Duty 2019 is the name. It's just called Call of Duty Modern Warfare with no numbers attached. Many expected and extensively like, rumoured that this year's title would have been Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. But Infinity Warfare discussed why they didn't decide against doing that. The decision revolved around the fact that they did not want this year's game to be restricted to the timeline and story aspects of what the original Modern Warfare trilogy had. They wanted to make the new Modern Warfare real. The game had to be realistic, authenticated and gritty and turn into a game that is very realistic, ripped from the headlines and is about what's happening in our world now. Allowing players to feel a connection to it because they see it happening in the news today. With Modern Warfare Trilogy, while it was a modern game, the story arcs that existed were not real in a sense that can be related to the events from the world. Modern Warfare 3 ended up with Russia attacking America and Kurosaki said that it did not see a path in which could be transformed into something is real and relatable, which also maintaining the Modern Warfare story arc that existed before. And in this fictional stories, it's hard to have a deep connection with what's happening inside of the story beyond characters, and Infinity Ward wanted to change that. There will be characters from the Modern Warfare series back, like Captain Price, but Infinity Ward declined to share that information on any other potential characters being named in the game. So, if you're all just wondering why it's called Call of Duty Modern Warfare, there is no connection to Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, MW2, which is Modern Warfare 2, or Modern Warfare 3. This is a completely new story with a new arc from different characters, and it's not a prequel or a sequel. Call of Duty at Modern Warfare will contain cross-play between consoles and PC, brand new game engine, no season pass, post-release maps will be free, new co-op mode, not zombies, so this will be uh, survival type mode or something else, shared with weapon progression across all three modes. So cross-play is pretty much console and PC where the internet server will help you play with your friends on PC or with your friends on Xbox on PS4. Brand new game engine which is pretty much graphics has been upgraded and other specs of the game has been upgraded and improved. So there's no season pass, so post maps will be released, however DLC you might have to pay for that, I'm not too sure, there's not enough information about that as of yet. So the brand new co-op mode, it, obviously it's not zombies because Modern Warfare had a survival mode where you just survived a certain amount of waves and then you get on the chopper and you go, I think it's just that, I'm not, I, can't, I can't remember. I remember just playing the waves and that was it, improving the guns. And pretty much this is the same as Black Ops 4 and possibly 3 regarding camos, but it's not. The shared weapon progression across all three modes. So this will be through the survival mode, I'm calling it that, the campaign mode, and obviously multiplayer. So the ranking system where you unlock attachments, camos, and other customizations for your guns. Let me know about your thoughts about the game title, your opinions about the game, what would you like to see in the game, and what path would you like it to take. Thank you for tuning in. This is Matthew from School Buses, and I'll see you all soon. Adios.